Good evening and welcome to a new series of American football here on Channel 4. Our first match of the season is between the Chicago Bears, the winners of the NFC Central Division for the last five years, and the Cincinnati Bengals, a team that came so close to being Super Bowl champions last year. My guest tonight was a wide receiver on that Super Bowl team, Chris Collinsworth. Chris, welcome. Thank you, Mick. It's been a little while since you've been not in beating pads That's on a Sunday. <laughs> you know, for the past 22 years, I've been playing either Pop Warner football, the little Pee Wees, or high school, or college, or professional football. And, you know, over the years, you and I have played against each other a couple of times, too. That's right. It was about 10 years ago, we were actually playing against each other in college. In college, and then later when uh, you were with the Falcons. Yeah, it was normally the same result. <laughs> you you <laughs> winning. <laughs> we, we did all right a few times. <laughs> well, we'll be back with Chris in a little bit. So Chris, an exciting game so far. Initially, the Bengals moved downfield very well. Now we're seeing the Bears after a bit of a ropey start. Yeah, Tom Zach, Tom Zach looked a little nervous out there at first. And, of course, this is his first regular season game after the Jim McMahon trade. Jim McMahon is a, a big hero in Chicago, so there's a lot of pressure on him. But it looks like he's settled down and is playing a lot better now. We also talked about the Bengals and not moving the ball well in preseason. And... They've come out and moved very well, in particular, Brooks is looking good. Well, you, you can be fooled in preseason about a football team, too, because they're not going to show everything in their offense. Uh, one interesting thing that happened up there this week, uh, Mike Dick has said that he felt that James Brooks had lost a little bit, that he wasn't the player that he was a year ago or, or earlier in his career. So uh, I think you're seeing a fired-up James Brooks out there playing, too, because he's trying to prove Mike Dick are wrong. How about in the backfield? There's a lot of things going on, especially with Dixon changing positions. Ricky Dixon was the, the number one draft uh, choice of the Cincinnati Bengals last year. He was the number five pick uh, overall. He got a million dollars to sign a contract. A lot of big things were expected. He really didn't play that well last year. But they moved him from the cornerback position to the free safety position, and you see the results. He got an interception on the first drive. That's right. So he comes up with a big interception. The Bengals are looking good. My pick, the Bears, they're coming back. It's seven to nothing. <laughs> So let's take it back to Soldier Field and our NBC commentators, Dick Emberg and Bill Walsh. So, 10-7, is that correct? Right. <laughs> the Bears Four, coming... 14-10. 14-10. Right. The Bears now coming back there. Tom Sack not having a good uh, first half. Comes back, throw, they're having a good drive. Throws another interception. He's now throwing three on the day. Two that have counted. Um, Boomer then takes the ball upstairs. Uh, then comes back to the ground, moving it outside, beating the blitz up the middle. Um, who's winning the race in the quarterbacks? Well, I think Boomer Sison's the most valuable player in the league last year, and certainly he's playing better than Tom Zach is today. Uh, I think that was expected going in. Uh, the guy for Chicago that's really carrying the load right now is Neil Anderson. He's uh, They're comparing him to Peyton. I don't know if you can really compare him to Walter Peyton yet, who was one of the great, great running backs of all time and maybe the best blocking running back ever. But uh, Neil Anderson's doing a great job. But uh, the Cincinnati Bengals look good, and they've played well in the red zone, down close to the goal line when the Bears are about to score. Their defense has made the plays. We keep talking about good runners. What do you think it is that makes a good runner in the NFL? There's some innate ability that, that some people have to, to run the football and to find the holes. But more than anything else, you see it in James Brooks and you see it in Neil Anderson. It's the ability when you get to the breaking point to make that one quick cut to go between defenders and, and to split the, the defense and make some yards. You see there the quick cut that he makes, avoids the tackler there. That's just that's just good running uh, by Neil Anderson. There's no way really that you can teach someone that. And then his speed. He's, he's very fast. The guy, Eric Thomas there, who ran him down, uh, can probably run about a 9-300 yard dash. So uh, he's no slow poke himself. Well, if that had been at Soldier Field a couple of years ago, I think you'd have gone all the way on AstroTurf. Let's go back to our NBC commentators.